Uh, so, hi, welcome back. Um, so today I am going to attempt a fake chicken stir fry. So I've never made, oh, this is a noodle stir fry, this is, so I've never made one. Not from scratch because I'm not that good of a chef. Um, so I have this um, isn't chicken. I've had this before on Nando's and it was very nice. So I'm going to be cooking this. And I have some spicy rice noodles, I have some spring onions and red onion, peppers on a shortage, sadly, otherwise I would have added that. Might be adding lettuce like just on the salad, not sure yet, but we shall see. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting this onion. Um, I'm not very good at cutting onions, so. Um, my flatmate always tells me to go down here, but I usually just go across, but for her sake, we'll go straight down the middle. Um, yeah. Um, I'm only gonna be using one half, just for, um, I'm just gonna push that way because I will be sorting that out. Obviously, I shall clean as I go, so that's right. But yeah, you want to peel the onion. Right, so once you've got your peeled onion, I mean, everyone knows how to cut an onion, but I'm just going to cut it. So I would usually just, you don't want them too thin, but you don't want them too thin. Just basically preference, really. I should have cut the ends off. Yeah, it's just preference on the size, and I'm just. We would have had peppers, but like I said, as to um, about the shortage, like I think most supermarkets, because of France closing their borders, and therefore there's been no fresh produce coming to and from um, the year at the moment, even though UK's left. Thanks, Bojo. So, much of that, I usually grab like a small bottle just to, can't see it, yeah, just to like split everything up, just to make it easier for when I actually cook. So, yeah. Cooked. Okay, so once you've got all your onions chopped, um, I'd usually move on to the peppers, but we're going to go on to the spring onions. So, um, in Tesco's, um, for the life of me, I cannot find normal sized spring onions. I can only find the giant ones. Um, which obviously isn't the best for when you're cooking. No one wants giant ones. But I like to come diagonally as well because my flatmate really, well, she said it just looks prettier, so now it's just stuck in me and I always cut them diagonally. Which, she's not wrong, they do look a lot nicer. I probably should have washed these, but you know, it's not like we're in a pandemic, so should be fine. And there, and then we'll put them there. So, yeah, I'll just put these straight on top just because we're all going to be adding the, all of the onions at the same time, so it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we're back. Um, once you've chopped all of your veggies up, um, literally you can use any veggies you like, I assume, I'm not really sure. Um, so we're going to start with the spicy noodles that I have. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use a full pack or not, we'll see. But before you do that, you want to heat the pan up very high. and 
It says had a bit of oil, but I don't really have any oil. I have fry. I have some like this bad boy right here. Not sponsored at all. I mean, imagine fry like. So yeah, just want a few spritz, if you will. That and then once that started heating up, I will have the noodles. Um, with this chicken, this is pea protein and soy based. It's not so. so, with this isn't chicken, it is pea protein and soya based. So I've never had this. Um, I've had pea protein burgers before from Beyond Burgers. Um, I wasn't a huge fan, but I have tried this brand's chicken before, fake chicken. And I really loved it, which is why I'm adding it to this recipe. Um, this is still heating up. So once it's heated up, we will come right back. So, okay, so I'm just I'm going to cook this first um, just because the noodles are they're quite quick anyway. So, I'm going to serve, I'm going to cook this first and then I'm going to put that to the side and then cook the noodles on the same thing. Now this, um, I wasn't sure whether to add my own seasoning or not, but it's, it's, got, it's just seasoned with salt and pepper, so I'm not really sure yet. Um, I probably will, but usually when I season I just bash a few things together. Okay, so this is what it looks like out of the packet. Focus here. Not the best smell, but we'll see, won't we? Right, so... I'll just add a few bits in. Now, I'm not going to use it all because I will be having some tomorrow. So I'll use my half. I'll put this in the fridge. Now, with this isn't chicken, um, it wants a low heat, so on here I'll put it on just a level three. Um, I'm not really sure what correlates to whatever you've got, but that's what it is for me. Occasionally, but I'm going to anyway. I'm also going to put the veggies into this. It says for a few minutes, so it shouldn't take too long, because obviously it's not real chicken, so there's no need to worry about if it's pink inside or not, hopefully. I mean, if this is pink inside, I'd be worried. It smells better now it's starting to cook, which is reassuring. I might end up adding just some seasoning to this just because it seemed a bit, you know, a bit. So I'll add a few more bits of oil on. And I'm just going to add a few dashes of chilli powder, some paprika, and I'm going to have a little bit of piri piri, just to give it a little kick. I like spice, but obviously 
I'm not the best with spice as much as I enjoy it, which is annoying. And this might need a bit more oil, but it's fine. So yeah, I just want to try and make sure all the chicken's coated. I mean, I'm not a chef, so to be fair, anyone could probably do a better job than what I'm doing right now. Once this is heated, um, we'll have the veggies now. Just to give it a bit more flavour when cooking. And also just heats the veggies up a little bit more as well. So hopefully, should not need any more oil. It says a tablespoon, but obviously just a few squares should have been fine. I mean, that's probably the worst thing about fake chicken, is that you just don't know when it's cooked. So I'm just gonna wait until the onions are cooked and we'll get the noodles sorted and then I'll put this on top of the noodles so that should help it a bit more these are spicy noodles so fingers crossed for my own safety so now this is done i'm just going to transfer this over to a bowl that i have and then with the noodles you want it on a high heat a few more bits of oil i'm going to do quite a few which probably shouldn't but you just want to add your noodles I'm not really good at portion sizes, as you can tell. Um, hopefully, that's not too much of it. Now the noodles are cooking. This take should not take too long. Um, just a few minutes, even quicker than the steak chicken. Now. I'm not going to record myself eating it because I don't think anyone wants to see that and if I'm wrong I apologise, I will do it again, but I will probably leave a nice little review after how good it went. I mean these are probably going to be way too spicy for me anyway, now I'm going to add the chicken, oops too easy, I've just dropped some. And uh, just attempt <laughs> to mix it all in, even though it probably won't work I probably shouldn't have done it like this. But oh well. 2021, not much can go wrong compared to last year, can it? I'm really regretting buying spicy rice. Um, just in case it is too much. It's finished. Um, I'm just going to transfer this into a bowl and then eat it like that because, I mean, I don't really think there's anything else you need to do. If there is, I stand corrected. So that's it for this video and if you liked it, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Um, if not, that's fine. You do you. I ain't going to force you to do anything. Um, that's it. So, bye.